I'm hoping that this tip will maybe help one person and prevent them from making the same mistake I did because it is super frustrating and of course it leads to a lot of waste. Hey, welcome to How to Fix a Workshop. My name is Josh. And if you notice from that intro, this is a very wobbly piece of wood. Now this is actually supposed to be a dining room table. I was working on this a few months ago and I glued up five of these two by sixes to create a tabletop for a dining room table. And I was just using regular construction grade pine. I had it all glued up looked nice and flat. I even ran the sides through my jointer and uh, tops and bottoms through the planer. Everything was nice and smooth. Everything was lined up properly and I used biscuit joints to hold everything in place. After everything was glued, I even got as far as staining and putting multiple coats of polyurethane on it. And after a couple days, the tabletop started to warp. So I had no idea what was going on. I tried everything. I was looking on the internet trying to find if there was any way that I could reduce this warp. I tried to lay hot wet towels on top of the wood and I even ran an iron over them trying to throw some moisture into the wood. And it actually helped. It straightened out the wood a little bit but it wouldn't take out this full bow. And so I set it to the side for a little bit and was going to be working on another project. I thought I maybe had just gotten some bad lumber and I wasn't sure what happened, but I thought I just used cheap construction grade pine. That's probably my fault. I went to my a local hardwood store to pick up some uh, oak for another project. I was gonna be building a coffee table and the pieces that they had in stock were like 10 feet long, eight feet long, 10 feet long. They kind of ranged in length and width. And I was talking to a guy there who was a more experienced woodworker. And he was, we were trying to figure out how many pieces that I would need to build this table. And he kept saying, cut it in half and then flip it. Cut it in half and then flip it. And I guess I must have had a confused look on my face because he asked, do you know what I mean by flip it? and I had to confess that I didn't. He said, well, you have to make sure your grain pattern is going in opposite directions for each board. One needs to be going up, the other one needs to be going down. I gotta admit, I had never heard this before. I have been an amateur uh, hobby woodworker for quite a number of years. I've made several tabletops. I've sold some dining room tables for uh, for profit and I hope that this never happened to them. I don't know if I just got lucky or if Something odd happened, but of course Like many things as soon as you recognize something or as soon as you learn something new Suddenly you hear it everywhere you go So I was watching more YouTube videos and all of a sudden started noticing that Woodworkers were putting that in as a little tip within a lot of the tabletop videos I don't know how, I never caught that before in all the years of watching YouTube and building furniture and building tables. I had never heard that before. If you found this tip useful, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.